Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Marissa and I'm a U.S. based flight attendant for a major U.S. airline. Today I'm starting a two day trip with the, the lead flight attendant, um, but it should be a relatively easy trip. I am flying from Miami to Dallas and then I sit for a little bit and then I go Dallas to San Antonio. So all I need to do now is throw on my lipstick, finish getting my uniform on, and then I'm good to go. Yeah, so let's see. I also got this new luggage strap. Everyone swears by them that they are good to use. The J-hook, so I can put my secondary bag because when I put it on top, there's a lot of like weight on your wrist that you're going to bring through the airport. And this is supposed to alleviate some of that. So I'm going to try using my J-hook today. out of tip money so I had to replenish I have to replenish my tip money so took out a 20 which will last me a while I just need to get changed so I'll get changed somewhere I need to get one early in the morning that all of these stores are closed it is 4 13 so early in the morning but yet there's still quite a bit of people here going places but this airport is always always busy so you know you this empty seeing it this empty is very rare i've arrived and i am in san antonio texas it's a gorgeous day outside it's like 80 degrees i am what time is it 12 13 i've been up since so early my pickup time tomorrow is 403 but in the meantime i do have a little bit less than a 16 hour layover i'm going to meet two of the other flight attendants and we're going to go have a walk around san antonio we're near the river walk and then i'm going to come back and get my workout done and then get to bed early because i have an early pickup but this looks like a cute town this building that the hotel is in looks very old um i did notice in the photographs before coming here the swimming pool looks very narrow i looked out my window and i have a view of the swimming pool but it's very hard to see because the windows are very dirty so that's one thing that there's a pattern of hotels not thoroughly cleaning the exterior windows but it might just be because it's hard to keep them clean all the time i'm not sure but i'll try to show you what it looks like from outside and then we'll do a room tour okay let's go so that's the little narrow pool it's literally just a strip of pool okay so here's the room tour sorry i'm starting out with the bathroom it's just where my camera was pointed so that like it's very San Antonio, the photo. A coffee station, a refrigerator. I'm glad there's a refrigerator because I packed salads. Two beds. A smart TV. So it looks like the San Antonio skyline. And then the San Antonio river walk. And that's it, that's the room tour. Okay, so I'm on my way to go meet two other ladies, two flight attendants, and we're gonna go have lunch. I think at a place called Alone Saguaro, Mexican food. This is the bridge from the Selena movie starring Jennifer Lopez.
It was a busy Saturday in San Antonio. We had to wait about 25 minutes for a table to have lunch at the restaurant Iron Cactus along the river. I ordered the vegetarian enchiladas and they came with black beans and cilantro lime rice. In the beginning, Spanish explorers used the waterway to supply water to their missions. Mission San Antonio de Valero, also known as the Alamo, was the first to benefit from it. The river flooded its banks many times. In September 1921, the worst flood in its history killed over 50 people and caused millions of dollars in damage to the city. City planners struggled over what to do while large debates rang among the people. One man, an architect named Robert H. H. Hugman, proposed a plan that would turn the area into a beautiful urban park with apartments, dining, shopping, boat rides, and walkways lit with old-fashioned street lamps. It is said that he wanted it to be just as if one were walking in Venice, Italy. Spanish explorers first visited the site, then a camp of the Papaya Indians in 1691. San Antonio was found May 1, 1718, when a Spanish expedition from Mexico established the mission de San Antonio de Valero. The mission, later called the Alamo, was one of five founded in the area and was named for St. Anthony of Padua. On May 5th, a presidio known as San Antonio de Bexar was established nearby. The site on the river's west bank was a stopping place on the trail through the Texas wilderness between missions on the Rio Grande and those in East Texas. I went on the river walk with two of the other flight attendants. We had lunch at a place called Iron Cactus. Um, I ordered some vegetarian enchiladas and they were, they were okay, they were tasty, but uh, what I didn't like is that they were a little bit cold, like not thoroughly warmed up. So I'm not sure what that was all about. So that was like a little bit of an unappetizing part of it. Um, so we had lunch and then took a walk and it was quite pretty. There were lots of people as my, that this has been my first time to the river walk in San Antonio. Um, I was surprised by how narrow the little walking paths next to the river are. Um, when you have traffic going one way and traffic going another way, there isn't much room to space yourself. So sometimes we had to walk single file behind each other to make passes. And there's really no guard rail or anything to protect you from the river. So it was busy. It was a busy day. Uh, the driver told us it seems like there's always some sort of convention or something going on in San Antonio. It is beautiful. Uh, I did notice that some of the trees had strings of lights hanging from them. So it made me wonder maybe the river walk is lit up at night. So it is close to sunset and I'm going to venture out to just have another little walk and see what it looks like at night. I will admit I am feeling very tired. I power napped for about 30 minutes a little bit earlier. Um, I woke up at 1.25 a.m. and I think it's just catching up with me. Um, tomorrow my pickup time from this hotel is at 4.03 a.m. so it's another early morning for me. But the good thing is, is it's just one leg. It's San Antonio to Miami and then I'm done. And then I have two more days that I'm good to work for. And we'll see if I get another two day trip and we'll see where I go. But let's go see the river walk at night. Let's go. Ready? It's not quite night time yet but the evening is upon us the temperatures have dropped and it seems like more people are out now okay i'm gonna take a little detour because i didn't realize how close i am to the alamo so i think i'm gonna try i am going to walk to the alamo they're close but i can see it from the outside fingers crossed um so yeah it's like a, an 11 minute walk from me so i'm gonna head to the alamo and here why not 
Walk over the bridge, turning 600 feet, turn left on Alamo Plaza. We're just walking along here and I nearly missed the Alamo. It's such a small building in the middle of like a modern city. So let me show you. There is the Alamo. I nearly missed it. I was so distracted by everything else around me that if I had not looked the other way, I would have missed it. This is a statue of Davy Crockett. Davy Crockett was a frontiersman, soldier, politician, congressman, and prolific storyteller. Known as the King of the Wild Frontier, his adventures, both real and fictitious, earned him American folk hero status. The Battle of the Alamo during Texas War for Independence from Mexico lasted 13 days, from February 23, 1836 to March 6, 1836. In December of 1835, a group of Texan volunteer soldiers had occupied the Alamo, a former Franciscan mission located near the present-day city of San Antonio. On February 23rd, a Mexican force, numbering in the thousands, led by General Antonio Lopez de Santa Ana, began siege of the fort. Though vastly outnumbered, the Alamo's 200 defenders, commanded by James Bowie and William Travis, including the famed frontiersman Davy Crockett, held out for 13 days before the Mexican forces finally overpowered them. For Texans, the Battle of the Alamo became an enduring symbol of their resistance to oppression and their struggle for independence, which they won later that year. The battle cry of Remember the Alamo later became popular during the Mexican-American War of 1846 to 1848. This is the Alamo Cenotaph. The memorial is located near the front of the Alamo and stands to commemorate the men and women who chose to defend the Alamo rather than surrender despite the overwhelming odds. The Cenotaph or Empty Tomb was designed by the San Antonio architecture firm of Adams and Adams, while renowned Italian-born sculptor Pompeo Coppini conceived and executed the sculptural parts of the monument. The sides of the cenotaph feature carvings of Alamo defenders, including William B. Travis, Jim Bowie, David Crockett, and James Bonham and the names of those who died at the Alamo are etched along the base. Nighttime is finally upon us now. We can start to see the little river boats lit up. The string lights that I saw hanging from the trees, those are no longer lit, so that must have been for Christmas. But the evening has filled with even more people there were just a lot of people in general celebrating. So the vibe of the Riverwalk has now changed. It's very, um, like, a, oh, how should I say it? A, what's the word I'm looking for? There are a lot of people drinking and I had to avoid stepping in some throw up at one point. I don't, don't know a nicer way to say it. I'm pretty sure that's all I will be filming tonight. Um, it is 7, 16. I'm going to make a salad for dinner and I'm going to shower and I'm going to get some rest. So I did have 
my little evening walk out along the river walk. It's very busy. It looks like there were lots of bachelor parties, bachelorette parties, uh, lots of drunk people. I had to walk to the side and avoid some puke. There was a guy that threw up and his friends were trying to hold him up. So it's a little bit, getting to be a little bit of a wild crowd right now. It is a Saturday, um, but now I'm back in my room safe. I have an early morning, so I'm going to have an early night. So I felt like I went out and I saw stuff and I'm content with it. I need to get my rest too. I don't want to get sick again like last time. So I need to make sure that I'm getting enough rest and eating well and taking vitamins and all of that because I was just too run down last time. And I think that's why I ended up catching a cold. So if I don't see you guys anymore tonight, then good night. Until next time. Thanks. Bye.